Well, outfielder Chase Harris told me before this Texas season opener, watch out for Sioux City. And after yesterday's series sweep over Kane County, the club remains the best team in the American Association at 8-1, laying claim to the best start to a season in franchise history. And it's no mistake the X's are atop the West Division standings. Averaging five runs per game with two walk-off wins in a four-game stretch, Sioux City has become an opportunistic offense with runners in scoring position. But it's on the mound where the team has separated themselves, with the pitching staff holding a league-best 2.39 ERA to win their first three series while sweeping two of them. A team that's played together and playing to win, making for an exciting time to be in the X's clubhouse. I just looked up on Google yesterday. I saw 8-1. and one. I was just like, dang, that's crazy because it's an exciting start to the season, and I think we're just getting better, honestly. We're starting out, got kinks, and we're still winning ball games. Our bullpen has done a great job of uh, not only holding leads but holding games where they are, and uh, it's, been, it's been fun to watch, uh, but you can't rest on your laurels. I mean, you, you know, you're off to an 8-1 start. That's great, but you, know, you can't win the division in May, uh, but you can lose it. So we put ourselves in a good situation. We've got to continue to play good baseball. The X is staying on the road for the start of a three-game set tonight, looking to extend their win streak to five against the West Division's last place team in Sioux Falls. First pitch about to get underway at the Birdcage.